Good evening, Empires and Puzzles fans and gamers. Um, September is almost behind us, and October is beyond, coming up. Um, it's been a rough year. I'm exhausted and run down and hope to do this in one take. Heard a funny sound bite on the radio the other day. If 2020 were a candle scent, it would be attempted to cook fish in the break room microwave. I'm feeling that sentiment right now. I'm a little run down and tired. Uh, school started back up. I'm in person and remote some days. Thankfully, tomorrow is remote. Most days I am in person. It's been a lot of work. Um, let's get going on this video. In the game, last month I had a good month. Um, it feels like the game is hemorrhaging players. Um, it feels like my guild is struggling. We lost a really good player. A few quit. Um, watched Natani Lion Roar's state of the game. Uh, an SOS video. I liked the first part. I wasn't in love with his solutions. Um, both were good videos. I'll give him credit for that. Um, loved the first part and I thought it was accurate. Um, let's see. Things I'm proud of. I beat Ursina hard. Um, now I've just got to finish off season two. Created some great teams this month. Let's look at some team edits. Um, you can watch my beat Ursina on the first try video. I'm finding this team that I'm showing right now can beat any PvE level. You can charge up Gallon Bursty, a character I'm glad I completed and found. He is not emblemed yet. But he can overcharge your heals. He can get 200% health on most of your players if you play it right. And you will be able to beat any PvE level. Um, and this is just a great raid team. I can take on most things with Teloria with it and win. Um, I wish I'd thought to, and I'm still thinking about it. I do have a lot of food. Iron is getting tricky now. Um, max Emblem Kiro. Um, Costume Regard has Max Emblems. Um, one of my favorite characters in the game is Costume Regard. I think he's a lot of players' favorite four-star. Um, Kiro's great. Bold Tusk is great. I wish the costumes wouldn't evade me. Um, Vela's coming along. Black Knight is coming along. It helps. I wish I'd pulled more from Season 3. Um, there's some great Season 3 characters that came out recently. Um, overheal is a great skill. Um, if you can overheal your team, you can beat most PvE levels. And you can use it quite well in Wars and on on raids. Um, it is helpful. I do use that yellow team on raids sometimes. It's much more useful on PvE, but it can be useful on raids. Um, onward to the city. Stronghold is coming along. I wish somebody would make an endgame video. Um, like to collect stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to use my Hero Academy. It just came out like three or four days ago. Um, I can store iron. I can trade off iron and lots of recruits. Um, finally, that's a way to store iron, uh, the level 2, putting in recruits. Recruits are recruits. Troops are extremely expensive, I'm finding. I don't know if they're a good deal or not. Um, it's better than getting nothing. It gets you further ahead in the game, so why not? Um, training common heroes is extremely expensive, and I don't have that many swords. Um, I'd like to know more about the Hero Academy. I don't profess to be an expert on it. I'm loving the Alchemy Lab. It's level 5. It can do two transmutations at once. I've got to get more iron together. Um, to make it the max level. I'm loving getting the emblems from this and the ascension items. When you get a thousand, you get an ascent. You get a pick of six items, two battle items, two sets of emblems, two sets of ten emblems to choose from, or an ascension item. So two battle, two of the best battle items to choose from, two sets of emblems to choose from, two different class emblems, sets of ten, or an ascension item like a cape, an orb. I am yet to see a four-star ascension, an epic ascent, the highest level epic ascension item yet. Um, I bet they can come, but they probably come once in a blue moon. So far, I've gotten two, three, or four items from this, and I'm loving it. Um, Alchemy Lab is great. You should use it to get ahead in your game. Um, my troops are kind of coming along slowly but surely. My heroes are coming along slowly but surely. I'm not getting many heroes. I'm not spending that much on the game. Um, I've got a few four, five stars to work on. Nothing's coming out of the training centers. Sometimes I run two 20s at once. I got 35 days of 20s. Um, without further ado, I'm looking forward to some of the things coming up next month. I'm flipping around so you can kind of see my city. It doesn't really matter. Some things are maxed. The iron stores, I like being able to build everything. I can have an advanced house. You don't really need houses because you can store the stuff in the training centers. Um, you can store recruits there and drop them and plus and minus them to the other training centers and it just holds a lot I'm starting to hold iron in the Hero Academy 
The Hero Academy is a cool thing, and I'm looking forward to maxing it. I've got to get some more iron stored um, and stashed away in the Hero Academy. I've also got to get more food stashed away. Um, food, I can't hold that much. Two fives and a t one level one advanced food storage. Um, it's coming along, though. Now for the calendar. Events coming up. I feel like the Ninja Tower could come out any day now. I felt like it, I don't know if I said it in my last video, but I felt like it could come out, it could have come out any day in September. I'm feeling like we're just going to see it one day. Could be tomorrow, could be in November. Um, I am not sure when the Ninja Stack is coming out. It brings Ninja Heroes, it brings Ninja Troops with it. It brings a new set of challenge events. Um, a challenge event where you don't get unlimited tries. Um, more like the Tavern of Legends. The Tavern of Legends meets a challenge event, something like that. Um, you can watch Mr. Spock. You can watch players talk about it. I am not the player to talk about the Ninja Stack. Day Tour was the first one I saw with the Ninja Stack video. I've heard about it from a few big YouTubers. Um, Ninja Stack could come out any day now. It brings some changes to the game. It is like a challenge event, but it's harder and it has limit. It, you're more limited, um, harder to beat, more like the Tavern of Legends. Um, that said, more Lovia is coming out. Um, more Lovia will, sounds like it's going to come out October 26th, I believe, is on the calendar. And I've read dates. I had to do a lot of research for this video. Um, it was very hard to find Zulog, the Hero of the Month. Zulog will be the October Hero of the Month. Um, it was hard to find information on More Lovia. It looks like More Lovia is coming out to in on the 26th of October and runs through the 7th of November. Um, it's going to have four new heroes. The heroes are going to be awesome, except for one. I think the bad one is Francine. Vonda is going to stop all healing. Um, she's red. She looks really good. There's Frank, um, who is a four-star blue. And there is a really good three-star um, Jack, Jack-o'-lantern. Um, he does some things that no other threes do. It looks like he has a strong hit with a pumpkin bomb, like a bomb after three turns. Um, it can be dispelled probably, but these characters actually look good. Morlovia is becoming a family. It's becoming 60 stages, an easy, a medium, and a hard. Um, they're changing Morlovia around, which should be good. Um, the past Morlovia heroes aren't good, and they'll still be there, but the new Morlovia heroes, all but one, should be good to very good. Um, so looking forward to that. Um, the Hero of the Month, the picture I got is off some other YouTubers' videos. I froze it. Um, it's in another language. Um, I can read the stats and things. He said the hero's a B-. minus. Um, it looks like another kind of Raphael type hero. Um, let's look at pictures. One take, so I should be quick in finding these. Tank hero, grade B-. minus. Zulag is the hero of the month. It looks like she, he carries two big swords. I saw some art on Facebook. Vast Ward. It sounds like it's a healer. It's a paladin. It's dark. It's average speed. Um, caster and nearby allies regenerate 612 over four turns. Caster and nearby allies get 46 defense for four turns. Uh, 74 defense against special skills for four turns for the caster and nearby allies. All dark dark allies get a minion um, with 5% HP and 5% attack so it's not the best minion it's a kind of a weak minion um, from their caster um, so it's a pretty average looking hero I would call it as a tank it looks like it has a good grade it's not good on titans and it's good at rush attack and buff battles it'll be good in tournaments it looks like according to this person's rating and i'm not sure how good this person how good a raider this person is um so the hero of the month is zulag let's see what's coming let's go through this as quickly as i can let's let you get a screenshot hold my phone sideways the video probably doesn't play sideways hopefully it records nicely and you're able to see this Zulag, the Paladin Hero of the Month. Okay.
It looks like tomorrow is Wednesday, so it's the last day of September. Um, Path of Valor just started. It should run into the first week, first or se the beginning of November, we're just going to say. Um, the first or second week of November, the Path of Valor should end. I haven't bought my Valor Pass yet. I think it's a great deal. I will buy it. I'm just waiting for surveys or some money to come through on my Google Play account that I don't have to spend with my own hard-earned money. Um, let's see. The first day of October is Atlantis Rises, which is great. Um, it's got past heroes of the month, Zinkitha, Neath, Cageboro, who I'm always chasing, and Atmos, who became very good with a with a buff upgrade and a balance. Um, on Friday, the 2nd of October, you have Far Home Pass, where you can get compasses and mask displays. Um, picture calendar is great. I wanted to give credit to the author of the calendar. Um... Thank everybody who makes these calendars. Um, I wouldn't make these videos if it wasn't for having the calendars on the forum and websites. Um, Atlantis Rises runs Thursday the 1st through Saturday the 3rd of October. During it, you have Far Home Pass on the 2nd day of October. On the 4th of October, you have Trials of Justice, which get you Paladin and Monk emblems. Um, costumes help there immensely i always say it i'll continue to on the 7th of october you have trials of strength for barbarian and fighter emblems i have magni and black knight both that's huge for me um kick its butt get the emblems i'm beating all the emblem quests now which makes me happy um my favorite event the challenge event is grim forest this month it's a red reflect um it runs the 8th through the 12th of october um we will discuss that. I have the slide for it at the end of the video. Um, if you want to stick around for it or if you want to skip to it. On the 8th of October is the beginning of Grim Forest. I thought there was something else, but it's just that the reflect color is red for Grim Forest. I have Hansel. Gretel would be cool. I'm um, not the best heroes. I don't recommend spending a ton here. It would be cool if they made new ones, but it doesn't seem like they will from what I've read and studied. If they did, it would be a surprise and it would be nice. Um, on the 11th of October, we have Trials of Fortitude for monk, uh, Druid and Cleric emblems. Um, always need those Vela emblems. Uh, got a lot of good clerics too. They come hand in handy. On the 12th, we have Mount Umber um, for for our reds, our fire element. Um, you can get Mystic Rings and you can get the Hidden Blade for the fours. You also need them to level the fives too. Um, on the 14th, you have Trials of Mysticism for wizards and sorcerers. It's a slow battle because most of them are healers and actually sorcerers, a lot of them can do damage. Um, Let's see, on the 15th, you got the Trial Tr Tavern of Legends, and it runs through the 19th, it looks like it ends. Um, Tr Tavern of Legends is, I spent a lot of money there, and I've never gotten anything but a four star, so I didn't spend money. I spent tokens there, and I spent some gems there, and like I said, I never have gotten anything but four stars from it. Um, very weak odds, not the best place to spend your money, but the payoff if you do win can be some of the biggest in the game. Getting a Shishat or a Gravemaker would be awesome. Um, getting Frig right now would be awesome in Valhalla. Um, that's my spiel on the Tavern of Legends. Um, during the Tavern of Legends on the 19th, you have Trials of Serenity for Ranger and Paladin emblems. Um... Next, after, on the 19th, it looks like it overlaps the end of Valhalla, or starts at the very end. Wow. On the 19th, it looks like it overlaps the Tavern of Legends, or runs in conjunction with it. It looks like it overlaps starting the last day of the Tavern of Legends, or starting immediately after is the Costume Chamber. The Costume Chamber is a great place if you don't have a lot of good characters um, to spend your money the chance is high you get a character and their costume it can help in the quest for emblems um costume chamber looks like it runs the 19th or the 20th through the 21st 
I bet it's the 20th through the 21st, two days, three days. Um, Vivica and Liani are both great characters. Those would be an awesome pull. I did get Elkanen, costume Elkanen from the costume chamber. I'm planning on putting my tonics and sturdy, sh well, I have plenty of sturdy shields. I'm planning on putting my tonics into Ratasuker, the squirrel guy from Valhalla. Um, that's just my plan. I could use a five-star healer, and that's where they're going to go. Um, overlapping the costume chamber, you have Shrikewood, which gets you your green ascension items. That is on the 20th, Shrikewood. Um, the 21st, you have R Trials of Survival, which is Barbarian and Rogue. Great classes, to, great classes with great emblem abilities. Actually, I just like my Black Knight. I don't think Barbarian is the best class talent, but Rogue is definitely one of the better ones, so you want those Rogue emblems for your players. My phone is going dark. Um, Valhalla, I watched a Mr. Spock video and I heard about Gef John. Um, good hero, not as good as Frigg, but he looks, he looked, he or she looked good. Um, Valhalla will run, it looks like the 22nd through the 26th. Um, the game is keeping us busy as players, which I think is great. It's one of the strengths of the game. Um, the game seems to be hemorrhaging players again, which I said at the beginning, but... I mean, I like the game, but I'm a new player. I'm going on my year. I think I started during Morlovia last year. Um, Vlad was one of my first characters. I probably started around where Valhalla begins this year. Um... You have Valhalla. I'm starting to spend and even recommend spending gems on Valhalla and making pulls there. The characters are getting good. It's almost finished off. There is not an event like Atlantis Rises for it, but I think there may be soon. Um, they probably are thinking of Season 4 um, to keep the game going. Um, but Season 3 is coming to its end. I think this is the second or third to last chapter of Season three and then it will complete the storyline of it and you'll be able to complete the you'll be able to complete season three and get the prizes for completion in two or three more of these Valhalla events um let's see so Valhalla starts on the 22nd and it looks like it runs to the 26th um during that on the 25th it looks like there's trials of piety which are for monk and cleric emblems Return to Morlovia, and I never trust these dates. Um, they can be a few days off, especially for things like the trials. Um, this is all subject to change by SG. It looks like Return to Morlovia is beginning on the 26th. And I imagine, from what I read, it ends on November 7th. Um, this year it has new characters, new levels, a family bonus. The same old characters that were bad. Some great new characters I talked about at the beginning of the video. Um, really looking forward to it. I love the I love the seasonal events. They're fun. We could see the Tower of Ninja, the Ninja Tower, come out this month. Um, it'll be out soon. It sounds like from what's going on in beta and the videos I watch. Um, at the end of the month, the month finishes up with the 28th, which has Trials of Decimation, Fighter and Wizard emblems as well as frost march on the 29th i'm out of telescopes and i have been for a long time i upgraded magni and i haven't pulled a telescope since um it looks like there is nothing else in october after that that is october 2020 um i hope you're finding things to do and during coronavirus i'm sorry there's still a pandemic um let's look at the challenge event Challenge events are a great place to level. Hit that rare three over and over again on auto repeat is what I say. If you're a low player, it's a great place to level. Interesting. I guess I'm, I thought I was getting my files, but here we go. You can screenshot this. Um, these are your characters. This is Grimfor Fables of Grimforce. Reflect is red. Um, Pixie's actually supposed to be really good. I have Hansel. I love him. He dies easily, but he blocks mana when he is alive. Snow White can be a beast um, because she takes away buffs before she hits. Um, that makes it hard to attack her. Um, 
Boss Wolf isn't great. Puss in Boots is pretty good. Um, Rumpelstiltskin. Red Hood. Um, I see these characters a lot. Um, people love Gretel and Hansel because they take away mana. Um, Hansel is the better of the two. I, I was lucky to get Hansel from this event. Um, I wouldn't go hog wild on the pulls here. Um, good event. Let's see. Let's see if I can recommend a team that would auto through rare. Uh, rare three. Hansel is the boss. Red is the reflect color. Ooh, tricky. Maybe a purple team. A bunch of Bajorns. I should get my Bajorn going. Um, I would say Bajorn is the best dark character. Um, with the axe throw at two characters. Five Bajorns wouldn't be a bad thing to have here. Um... Let's see, what else could you use? Casavir might be a good player to have for the three star. I love doing the three star rare. It's where I can kind of compete. And I don't compete hard. The players that compete harder, I've listened to videos and it's crazy how hard some people compete at this. If I could get top thousand right now, I'd be ecstatic. I think I usually get in the top hundred K um, on all sets of events. Actually, I was crying after Wonderland. Um, I beat Wonderland. Uh, keeping all my players alive on level 13 and the event had finished by seconds um, I was at 99,000 and I fell below 100k so I lost three flasks it was one of my worst defeats in the game um, I was trying to get into that extra set of prizes where I would have gotten three more flasks I defeated Wonderland but I didn't get the I only got the summoner's token in legendary I'm hoping to do better this Grim Forest um, I've come a long way pretty fast. I am player level 58. Um, good luck in Wonderland. Good luck in October. Um, I hope you're doing well. Um, happy pulls. Um, I hope you. I hope the Tower of Nin Ninja Tower is fun. Tower of Ninjas. I hope these ninja characters come out soon. Um, there should be some fun stuff coming to the game. Um, I think my guild is struggling. If you're looking for a guild, we'd be happy to have you. Um, give it a try. Um, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and like. Um, hopefully I had some helpful advice. Um, have a great October, and thank you very much. Enjoy your gaming. Happy Halloween.